Thank you, everyone. It's really great to be with you. Uh, what a beautiful day. I think the Lord knew it was a special event. No wind, no rain, no snow. Just a beautiful, beautiful day. And I'm sure you all had uh, other things to do, but you chose to come out and be with your friends and neighbors to celebrate. You know, celebrating at this day and age when so many things are on television that are, are reminders of how bad things are. It's just great to have something that's joyful and that, that you can celebrate. Uh, and so I'm, I'm very proud and pleased to have a little bit to do with this. This is really yours because uh, you decided as a group through your county officials that you wanted to do this and then you looked around to see how to do it. And we apologize for it taking so long. That's just the way government is. I can imagine if this was uh, three times larger and complicated, maybe we could, our terms would be up before we get it right. So, in any event, just listening to uh, the specifications, it seems to me this is a real rare combination of common sense uh, and, and, and really filling a need. Tried to do too much, it wouldn't get it done. If you try to do too little, it wouldn't be worth it. And what you've done is come right down the middle. You're going to have a very, very big facility. But it's going to be, uh, it's not going to be like, like you're going to Houston and they go <coughs> in Cole Center. Uh, it's going, going to be something just fits you. So, uh, while I don't have much more to say, I w would tell you the story that I told the last quickly <coughs> as I was leaving. Uh, you know, these glasses that I'm wearing, they look like, uh, when you look at them, they look like they're all metal. But when you buy them, you know, they tell you it, 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 they fold up and then if you put something on them, they bend. So, so I want to tell you what happened to me last night. Uh, my wife had to leave to go take care of one of our daughters who was ill, <coughs> and I was watching television, and uh, God knows I don't even remember when, but my glasses came, I had them on, obviously, they came off, and uh, they fell in the bed, and during the night I called myself, as I moved around in the bed, I called myself the, the, the big walrus. The walrus moved around in the bed and it kept feeling something funny. About three or four times it was really sticking me right here. And I was wondering what in the world's happening. And I didn't find out till morning. And I pushed everything aside and I found these terrific, beautiful glasses were falling down in there. And every time the walrus moved over, he was right on top of them. And uh, I'm going to send a letter to the company saying they're sure as hell great. <laughs> they still work. In fact, I can see you pretty well. I don't look too much different than my last visit, at least for some of you. If you saw me, maybe some of you might not have seen me for two or three, four years. Who knows? But uh, it, it is great to be in your county. You know, but one of the fastest growing counties uh, in New Mexico, still uh, seen by many. It's a very great place to live. I hope as this growth occurs, and it is, if you're a betting man, and you see what's happening here, you've got to bet on growth. If you're in Albuquerque, you've got to, got to bet on growth. Put your money on growth. And no matter what you can do when that happens, you can't get out on the street like some and say, I don't want it. What you've got to do is plan for it. Work hard for sensible legislators, sensible members of your commission who will do right by both the past and the, and the future. That's a big, hard, hard chore because the distance between the past and the future, you know, it used to be a long time. And so you have many two or three, four commissions that still be part of the little hanging on to the past before you got over to the future. But now, I mean, you might wake up someday in the future in your backyard, right? You've got, to, got to be on your toes. You've got to elect people that are on their toes. You've got to participate. Let them know that you like what, what, much of what you've got. 
but that you are prudent and understand you've got to share in growth. He says growth means wealth. <coughs> growth generally means more wealth. And more wealth generally means a little bigger pot. I want to close by telling you a little story 